Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triplum Games, and in this video I'm going to be talking about circular arrays. I was inspired by CG Life. Uh, basically he used an empty and an array modifier, I think. So I'm going to show you an alternative way to do this, and in some cases it might be easier, and in other cases it might be worse. So let's open up Blender. I'm going to press Shift and A. I'm going to create a mesh circle. I'm going to start it out with 8, and I'm going to shift A, mesh, and cylinder. I'm going to use 16. Left click the cylinder, shift select the circle, control and P, and object. Select the circle, go into the object data tab, go to instancing, and select vertices. I'm going to select the cylinder, tab in the edit mode, and press R and X to rotate on the X axis. Notice that they all rotate pretty much uh, globally to this basic object. I'm going to Control Z to undo, select our circle, and align to vertex. Select our cylinder, tab in the edit mode, R and X. You'll notice that it rotates on the normals of the vertices. We can select our cylinder, go into the modifiers tab, and select subdivision surface. So now we can control the amount of our objects. And if I tab in edit mode on our circle, you can see that I can scale them without adjusting the uh, cylinders. You can even select your cylinder and extrude, scale, and we'll just scale that out a bit, and As you can see, you can do some rather interesting effects. Another thing you can do is select your cylinder, press Ctrl and A, and make instances real. Now keep in mind that this is still instanced, so what you want to do is Shift A, Mesh, and Cube. I'm going to go into edit mode and move that up. Select our instances, and then select our cube, Control J. And now they're all a single mesh, and they could be uh, bullioned into other objects or whatever you want to use them for. So that was a quick tip. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.